I always give away too much It's like I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart I've been talking a lot and I lost my voice I am so pumped and overjoyed to be doing this video today because it was a struggle for me. Like, I've been struggling how to make this product. I've been making this product at least between four to six months now since I've been doing all of my trials, okay? I've been doing all my trials, like hit and miss, and you just need me. And I'm finally happy to be sharing it with y'all today. Into this video, I'm gonna be making my very own body lotion from scratch. Yay! So guys, I just realized that the bottle that I have right now to put my product in is like 10 to eight ounce bottle. This is the bottle that I have right now. So with that being said, my measurement have to change. I was just doing 200 grams bash, but right now I think I have to change it to like 400 grams just to fit this bottle. I do not think 200 grams can fill this bottle. So I have to scale up and then go ahead and start the process, okay? Here is my note. <laughs> Guys, I'm all over the place, right? So, I'm gonna start off with the, with the water phase. So these are my water phase. The distilled water and the glycerin is my water phase. Now, we come to the oil phase. I have my plant-based oil in here. I have some sunflower, sunflower oil in here. And I have my emulsifying wax. This is emulsifying wax NF. That's what I use for most of my lotion, even though I have other ones. But this is the one that I really, really like. So the emulsifying wax and the plant-based oil, these two, I'm my oil phase, okay? Now, this is the cool down phase. In here, I have vitamin E oil, I have my fragrance oil, and I also have my preservative, guys. You need preservative. So, let me name all of the, the five items that you need in your lotion that make a lotion, okay? Now, you need the water, because most of the lotion is water. Just bear that in mind. You need your water and your glycerin. You need water, you need some glycerin, you need some oil, like a plant-based oil, you need your emulsifying wax. This is what's gonna bound the oil and the water. You guys already know, water and oil do not mix at all. I don't care how you blend it, with a measure blender, use whatever blender you want to use, it will never stay together. It always separates or preservative. You guys know, once your product has water in it, it bound to go bad. Like you have molds and fungus growing up in it. You don't want that for your product. So what do you need is a preservative to preserve your product and keep it safe, okay? So these are the five items. The rest of the two items that I have in here, like the fragrance oil and the vitamin E, you really don't need it because you already have a preservative. I just added the extra oof to it, okay? So these are my oil face. I'm gonna be adding my emulsifying wax to my oil. I'm gonna be adding my vegetable glycerin into my distilled water, which is my water face, okay? So the next step is to take my water face and my oil face and put it on my double boiler. I have my double boiler right near me. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. 
So bear with me guys, we are almost there. It have been like two, three minutes and my emulsifier wax is already melted. I'm just waiting for it to get hot and get to the right temperature that I wanted to and then we'll start the process, okay? Because this one is not as much as the water, it's gonna be floating around, so I have to hold it down. <laughs> this is funny, guys. I can't believe I have to babysit. <laughs> I have to babysit it. Guys, these two faces, I believe, are of the same temperature Perfect. They are at the same temperature. Exactly, guys. I don't know how that happened, but it happens, okay? I'm going to take my water face and put it into my oil face, oil face, okay? Guys, I'm not doing this because it's a root of tongue that you have to take the water face and put it into the oil face. I'm only doing it because the oil face has a beaker container than the water face. You can do either or. It doesn't matter. Just follow along with the steps. A bit more stair. I'm just gonna be taking the water face and putting it in the oil face, guys. Look here, see the magic. Ooh, yeah. Love it. This china is growing so fast. I can't believe how much we have grown. Like, I'm so happy and all that. So, yeah, let's keep planning. Oh my God, oh my God, I think I made a mistake. I got a big one right here. Let me just not fall into more troubles and all of that. So let's keep doing this. Now we are free to mix and blend anyhow we like. Even though this, this is a simple body lotion, I'm gonna be coloring this body lotion with, uh, I'm gonna be coloring the body lotion and I'm gonna be using some very interesting uh, fragrance oil in it. I'm gonna be using some citrus. It is awesome and I'm really, really digging it so yes so i think we're gonna be naming this something citrusy and i'm thinking about making a label for this i think we can make this more fun okay so i've been blending for like a mm, few minutes now maybe like three four minutes i think i've blended enough i'm gonna let it be a little bit leave it alone and let it take it up on its own i'll keep checking on it until it cool down and then we'll get to our next face okay it's still pretty watery like really really watery i don't mind because i know this is a fluid body lotion it's gonna get thick though don't sleep on it it's gonna get thick. The emulsifier or, or, or wax that I use is a emulsifier and at the same time it's a thickener too. So yeah. I'm just gonna be leaving this alone. Let it get thick a little bit more while I prepare my label in order. It's gonna be a fun one, okay? So guys, we are back. It have taken up really really nicely and I'm going to go ahead and take the temperature and see what it is right now it's at 95.9 Fahrenheit and it's pretty cool so I think at this point 
I'm going to be adding my preservative, my fragrance oil, and my vitamin E oil. Okay. This is a cool down face, like I told you. Like you can use any oil of your choice. Okay? You are not limited to sunflower oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I believe, I think I'm going to be using my uh, immersion, immersion blender once more just to incorporate all of the uh, essential oils and the vitamin E oil and the preservative. I want to really, really mix in here properly. So let's go. Smells just like orange lemon like this is <laughs> so good guys actually i wanted to name this a simple <laughs> body lotion but at this point there's nothing simple about this adding fragrance oil making labels <laughs> and all of that and the labels looks just like the uh it looks just like the fragrance oil that I added. So the next step is for us to package this bad boy up. Oh, let me not forget, I wanna color this, okay? And I think I wanna use like a lemon or orange. So I'm gonna be using some orange coloring. I want to mix the coloring in it properly as well. I'm just loving the color. I'm going to leave it for a little bit more and let it get thicker before I put it in the container. It's still running a little bit. So let's wait. It'll get thick a little bit more. So we are back. And all of that, it is the next day, guys. I was so tired. I couldn't even handle it. I was so sleepy and all of that. But this is our consistency that we are having right now. It smells divine. And it's gotten pretty thick. Like I said, this is a lightweight body lotion. And I'm very, very happy about it. Like, it has a runny consistency, but it still has some thickness to it, which I'm loving. It's, it's gonna get thicker over the time. So, yeah, I think it's time to package up this bad boy. So now, it's about time to put our label on. Okay. I'm gonna go like so. Mm, I think it's a little twisted. So let me try to fix it because I work hard on this label. Uh oh, it's like it's stuck. But anyway, this is not for sale, so I'm not too worried about it. So guys, I just found a good idea on what to do with the rest of this lotion. So I'm just gonna be pouring it in here, like so. Yep. So unfortunately, the label that I made for the bottle cannot fit on the jar. So I'm just going to 
Me ganara el libro. For the job. I finally done with the label. This is it. I'm just going to peel one of it out. I'm done laboring my uh, containers. And I just want to make sure of the sizes on the container, even though this bottle set is an eight ounce bottle, but it's still, I still believe it's way more than eight ounce. So let's just do the test run and see what it's gonna be. I have another container here. So let's measure this without any product first. Now that the bottle is empty, it says one ounce. Now let's measure it with the product in it. It says 11 ounces. So technically, the bottle takes 10 ounces of liquid. See? 11 ounces. Minus one is 10 ounces. So this is how much the bottle takes, okay? So now let's measure this four ounce jar and see how it looks, okay? It says five ounce. So technically, the four ounce is right, okay? The four ounce is right. This is our final product. Let me do some close-ups. This is how it's looking. This is how the label is looking on it as well. And all of that, I went ahead and I made another label that I could use on my jar because I don't have any four ounce bottle or so. So this is it guys. I just went ahead and put the rest of the product in here and put the label on it and all of that. I just hope you guys enjoy this video and want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I guess I'm going to be talking to you in the next video. Bye bye.